Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover absolute value equations with no solution. Now remember, absolute value is the distance from zero. The absolute value of something, whether it's a number or an expression, cannot be negative. It cannot equal a negative. The absolute value of something is always going to be positive or zero, so keep that in mind. Let's jump into number one, where we have the absolute value of x equals negative five. Now again, and this is very important, the absolute value of something cannot be negative. There's no way to make this work here. There isn't anything x can equal, and the absolute value will equal negative five. Now you may be thinking, how about negative five? Well, the absolute value of negative five is five, so that won't work. There is no solution for this equation. Let's move on to number two and take a look at another example. We have the absolute value of w plus seven equals negative 11. So again, for this one, we have the absolute value and it equals a negative. There's no way to make this equal negative 11. No way to make that absolute value equal negative 11. So this is another example of an equation with no solution. And then lastly, let's move on to number three, where we have negative two times the absolute value of three a minus 14 equals 16. Now for this one, it doesn't equal a negative, but the absolute value hasn't been isolated yet. That's our first step whenever we have an absolute value equation. We need to get the absolute value by itself on one side of the equation. So let's use the inverse operation here and divide the left side by negative two. That means we need to divide the right side by negative two as well. These negative twos cancel each other out and the absolute value of three a minus 14 is now isolated and that equals, and then on the right side, 16 divided by negative two gives us negative eight. So now we have the absolute value of three a minus 14 equals negative eight. We have our absolute value isolated now, but it equals a negative. So this is going to be no solution as well. So there you have it. There are some examples of absolute value equations with no solution. Just remember, if we have an absolute value equation with the absolute value equal to a negative, then we have no solution. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.